M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are with the new Anytone BT-01 Bluetooth microphone that of course includes a screen and full control of the Anytone 578 Bluetooth mobile radio. So lots to learn about this device and some people are, are, would say, well, why get that when you've got the Anytone 878? Well, with the 878, I've only got, is it seven watts, eight watts, and I'm limited to uh, connecting an antenna to the SMA connector there or using the rubber duck. Uh, yes, it has Bluetooth and it's a brilliant radio, nice big battery, uh, but it doesn't connect me to my collinear on the roof or give me the 50 watts range. So I can once I can walk around with this, this device here and I can have 50 watts and the full range. So I, it's almost like having a, a mobile radio or even a base radio in my hand and that's something I've never had. I do think it's ahead of its time really in the way of, because why can't they can actually, you think about it, you could actually do this with your FTM 400, you know, ICOM 705, they could have a Bluetooth head unit that has a screen on it. It's definitely doable with the right firmware and a lot of work. So let's just open it up. This is just a bit of an unboxing here. So you can see what you get for your money. Uh, there's a small manual there. Very small and basic but it's there and inside just lift looks like that would have been like that so size wise yeah i mean it's a very nice size but let's compare it to holding the 878 so i would say it's a much lighter feeling device the 878 with the battery on it it's a brilliant battery on the 878 i, I wouldn't knock it but it's a very chunky feeling device we'll leave that in the background um, so I don't know if the battery is charged. Let's actually we'll move that out of the way. Let's see if we can get some a nice bit of focus on. So looks like the menu button there, up and down. Now you've got buttons on top. The middle one is oh, looks like we've accidentally turned it on anyway. So it's it, I might, I am going to see if it will just connect straight out of the box. And if I need to do that, because there are firmware updates, you need to make sure you've got the latest firmware in the 578. This, you don't have to update this. Apparently, this has got the latest firmware. And you can actually update the firmware on this using an app or your CPS. Now, let's have a look at the back, the battery. Is it all built in? It's not, it's not a removable battery, I don't think. And there's your connector there. You get this big extension lead, so you can use it as a remote head. Now, it does come with a belt clip. It doesn't sort of have a bracket to hold it on the car, which, which actually surprises me, because you think that would be the, an obvious thing to do. So, PTT up there, and then three programmable buttons on the side. One, two, three. And I think you can program them three times. You've got short, long, and then extra long press. You turn it on with the top, and then if you press the top, it's not it's not connected yet and you can go plus and minus with the volume and the channels each time you press the middle button then it'll go between channel and volume i know i have been doing some homework now ignore the sd card i've been told never put an sd card in the one of these ever uh, and now someone said to me no it's just a vent but you know to me it's an sd card slot um, that's not in use micro usb charging so well it looks like it is fully charged there and uh, it'd be nice to can we go in the menu when it's not connected no you can't do anything until it's connected usb charging programming lead i'm guessing plugs into there this is the program now does it come with a programming lead or are we going to use the one with the 578 so let's have a look so there's your usb charger which yeah nice very good quality i believe rj45 lead and i was wondering if we had a shorter one of these then it'd be more convenient for plugging it into into our um, 578 because sometimes we don't want to connect this via Bluetooth. We just want to connect it with a short cable, quite a flexible cable, and then still use it instead of having to lean over to our to our mobile radio. So anyway, there's the pin. I'll just zoom in there so you can see the sort of pin configuration. See if that will just work with a normal lead that you use on your broadband router. Okay, so good, very good quality cable that. And then the belt clip, I will put the belt clip on because uh, it's quite a small device anyway. 
going to go like that. I just because they've got the SD card in the side, it makes me wonder: was this actual unit originally designed for the Anytone, or was it actually originally a different device altogether? This makes me wonder. Well, there you are. Check it out. I do like the way it feels. Um, it's not as solid feeling as the point as, as the eight seven eight. Feels a bit lighter. So there you go. One last showing you next to the 878. Okay, so it's literally been here 10 minutes. I'm just quickly showing you it, unboxing it, and uh, then we're going to be setting it up. The next thing we'll do is actually set up the 578 and just turn these both on and see if it just automatically pairs. Uh, we might have to do the initial pairing on the 578, just normal Bluetooth pairing, uh, but that way you know that if you get this from Moonraker, like I have, whether you need to do any firmware up updating or not. And thanks to Moonraker, because they are doing a special offer. If you buy the 578, they're giving you a free, a free antenna that looks like this. BP2 low profile. It's like a, yeah, it's a stubby antenna, two meters and 70. And they're giving you a, a Maggie mount at the moment so grab them while you can while the offer stands and the price i found was good for the 578 it was about about 330 i think with 578 don't forget it's the latest model super duper model and the mic was about 140 which i think if you've got a 578 really and it, it's a must-have item really if you've got a 578 you i just think get it you know, seven three. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. Gonna have some fun with this. Bye for now. Seven three. All the best.